the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the first Sunday of Lent. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, through the yearly observances of the Holy Land, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, See, I am now establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that was with you. All the birds and the various tame and wild animals that were with you and came out of the ark. I will establish my covenant with you that never again shall all bodily creatures be destroyed by the waters of a flood. There shall not be another flood to devastate the earth. God added, This is the sign that I am giving for all ages to come of the covenant between me and you and every living creature with you. I set my bow to the clouds to serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the clouds, I will recall the covenant I have made between me and you and all living beings, so that the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all mortal beings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Response, your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from all. In your kindness, remember me, because of your goodness, O Lord. Response, your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice, and he teaches the humble his way. Response, your ways, O Lord, are love and true to those who keep your covenant. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, Christ suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the Spirit. In it, he also went to preach the spirits in prison, who had once been disobedient, while God patiently waited in the days of Noah during the building of the ark, in which a few persons, eight in all, were saved through water. This prefigured baptism which saves you now. It is not a removal of dirt from the body, but an appeal to God for a clear conscience. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, 
and powers subjected to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. One does not live in bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert and remained in the desert for forty days, tempted by Satan. He was among wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the type of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. My dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good day, my dear friends. Sa gospel po natin ngayon, we read that uh, Jesus went uh, into the desert and uh, for 40 days was uh, tempted by Satan. So ano ba ang temptation? Temptation is a test. Ang sabi nga natin, temptation is never a sin. A sin is when you yield to temptation. Kaya sa mga uh, buhay natin, ang daming mga temptations, present yung temptation. In fact, si Kristo mismo was tempted several times, but he did not yield to temptation. So, what we mean that uh, temptation is a reality in our life. Uh, sabi nga nila, Necessity. Tulad ng uh, isudyante, kailangan niya ng papers, exams, quizzes, para ma-motivate siya to study better and to enhance his growth. It is uh, sort of uh, making him strong and uh, growing in his academic life. Now, in our spiritual life, ang temptation, ganun din yung silbi. Pero, kailangan ba hanapin natin yung temptation? Hindi mo natin kailangan hanapin. Kasi, sabi nga nila, if you want to be strong to uh, spiritual life, then you should seek for temptation. Hindi mo ganun. Ang uh, temptation ay dumadating yan. And, confidently, we believe that when it comes, we can resist the temptation. So, parang exercise yan. Diba, kung nag-exercise ka, you strengthen your body. But over-exercising ay uh, masama rin sa katawan. Uh, magkaroon ka ng injury, uh, magkaroon ka ng uh, dehydration, and uh, other forms of sickness. Kaya everything na sobra ay masama rin sa tao. Kaya ngayong uh, uh, Lenten season, we expect na more temptations will come to us. And confidently, we should believe that uh, we can overcome all these temptations. One thing is uh, for sure, as written in this gospel, that uh, the angels minister to him. So in our moment of temptation, we are not alone. We have the angels, we have the saints who are praying for us, and people who are helping us. Kaya, we don't seek this temptation, but surely it will arrive. It will arrive. Lalong-lalo na ngayong Lenten season. So, be strong in our faith. Uh, we overcome this. We strengthen our spiritual life. And believe that we're not alone. We have the angels. God has sent us people to help us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. 
I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, no substantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, and He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnated the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again in the in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. For every petition, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our church leaders continue to be committed in their concern for the poor, especially among the migrants and their families. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That our civil leaders do their best to serve the people and trust them to them, mindful also of their responsibility to take care of the migrants and their families. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That overseas Filipino workers be continually accompanied by God as they work and live in foreign lands, especially in moments of temptation to abandon their religious and cultural values. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That the young lesson, the burden of each carried by the elderly and bring them joy by their respect, care, patience, and love. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That grieving families left behind by the devils of overseas workers find comfort in the assurance that their loved ones are now peacefully in God's kingdom. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concern of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord God, of all praise with your goodness of this bread to offer, which I has given and human hands of being to be God of the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless you, Lord God, of all praise and through goodness of this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray with the friends that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Give us the right uh, dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Listen up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is fully right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give the thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Be abstaining for the long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance, and by overturning all the snares of ancient serpent taught us to cast out the heaven of bodies, so that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we may pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so with the company of angels and saints, as we sing the name of your praise, without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, his gifts, we pray. 
by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks as you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, brother, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, for his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we are always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grace to grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And the sufferings are there the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Love of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Love of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world after those who are called to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renew 
now with heavenly bread, by which faith is our hope increased, and charity is strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the mighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, our Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.